has a really great way of saying things succinctly. She gets right to the point. She tells you a little bit about the science part of the crystal, the geology part, which I like, like the locality and what colors you could expect to find it in. I think that's really helpful, especially for people who are just starting out with stones. Um, but it's also helpful in helping you make a purchasing decision. So, you know, for instance, um, if you are going to purchase a ruby and it says that it's from China and you aren't so sure that rubies are really supposed to come from China, then maybe you're purchasing the synthetic one or something like that. So knowing that locality can be helpful, but it also tells you the range of colors that the stone can come in because not all stones look alike. Sometimes you get some that look a little bit different than the ones you're used to. So knowing that whole range of colors can be really helpful. I also like that she focuses on stones that are pretty commonly available that most people would expect to find. And the images that she uses in the book are great because she often gives a rough image and a tumbled image. So you can know what to expect because sometimes stones look very, very different once they've been polished than they look in their natural rough or raw form. So I really like that. The other thing I love about the photos in her book is they're what you would expect to find at any new age shop. They're not museum quality pieces like they often use in other books because that's not what your crystals are going to look like. You know, we have sort of more um, run-of-the-mill, average Joe kind of crystals. We don't have the museum quality specimens that you would see at, say, the Smithsonian. So I really like that she uses really realistic photos in her book as well.